Lately, I've been on a bit of a manga binge, mainly due to me not being able to find any new anime series to start, so please recommend some in the comments. But anyways, one of the series I've finally caught up on is Tokyo Revengers, which also has an anime currently airing this season. The anime is about 6 episodes covering around 11 chapters of the manga so far. While currently, the manga has over 200 chapters and seems to be wrapping up. The characters and cast is one of the most likable cast of characters in recent anime and manga. And the character that has gotten my attention the most is Manjiro Seino, aka the Invincible Mikey. I am Tiago with Attack on Tiago, and for today's video, I'll be going over why Mikey is such a great character and why I think many people will like him as well. If you're new to the channel and enjoy this kind of content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified when I next upload a video. <laughs> Tokyo Revengers, the series about a boy who travels back in time to when he was in school and in an infamous Tokyo gang to save his ex-girlfriend from dying and stop the dark rise of this gang in the future. And there in the middle of every conflict is Mikey, the leader of Tolman, the gang our hero Takemichi is in and is trying to stop at the same time. Now to any outsider hearing this, they would probably think that Mikey is the antagonist of the story. And in some ways he is, but I wouldn't consider him one. Mikey is just a very troubled character. Mikey was raised by his grandpa with his older brother and half-sister. From a young age, people called him a genius when it came to fighting. Being able to take down people twice his size and much older than him, like it was nothing. Mikey, with a few other of his friends, then formed the gang Tolman. Unfortunately, Mikey harbors a lot of darkness within him, which seemed to all started when his older brother was murdered. What's interesting to me about the story is every time our hero Takamichi goes back in the past to change the future, it's always revolving around Mikey. It's always about keeping Mikey's composure and making sure he doesn't snap or sway in the wrong direction. See, Mikey is a very powerful character, probably the most powerful character in the show, not only in his combat prowess, but in his leadership qualities. He is very charismatic, and people love following him and acting in accordance to Mikey's will. But unfortunately, at the same time, Mikey is 15. He is very young and is leading a gang of sometimes up to 400 members on various missions. Think about if you guys were in his shoes and all the responsibility that is on you guys constantly at all times. That's a lot of responsibility on someone, and yet he always stays composed and looks strong-willed to everyone in the gang. When in secret, he has a lot of mental issues and problems he's working through. But if he shows that side of him, their whole perception of Mikey the Invincible collapses. And that's why Mikey has certain people in his life to keep him composed and guide him like Draken, Takamichi, and his older brother before he died. If any of them were out of Mikey's life, then Mikey has one less block to lean on and can succumb to the darkness within him. But now let's get to another reason why Mikey is so great. His badassery and overpoweredness. <laughs> Overpowered is a trope used nowadays in anime that many people seem to gravitate towards. Two great recent examples of this are Levi from Attack on Titan and Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. Mikey in a lot of ways is that character but for Tokyo Revengers. He is feared by everyone every time he steps into a room. One of my favorite Mikey moments in the manga is we enters this place, he sees his comrades bruised and beaten up, and the guy who beat them up then approaches Mikey, who at this point seemed unbeatable, 
and knocks out Mikey with one punch. The guy lifts his hands in victory, but suddenly Mikey gets right back up and he says, that hit I took from you was punishing myself. And then he immediately defeats him with one kick. So badass. If the anime is done right, and if it blows up, Mikey will be the character many will probably adore and come to love. He isn't just a badass who shows up randomly, but instead he's at the center point of every conflict going on in the series, and has multiple layers to his character. And I hope his anime counterpart is done justice, since more people need to see the greatness of the invincible Mikey. Well everyone, that is it for the video. I hope I didn't spoil too much, I wanted to give some points but also be vague at times as well. Have any of you read or seen Tokyo Revengers? If you have, please let me know your thoughts on it down below. And if you haven't, I recommend that you do. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot. I'm Tiago with Attack on Tiago, and I hope you all have a nice day.